Hey friends, Vanessa here with The Taste Buzz and today I am super excited to take you all on an incredible journey. We are actually going to do a VIP Disney tour. I am so excited because I never thought I was going to be able to do something like this. This is going to be so much fun. This is possible because of Tink's Magical Vacations. They are a travel agency based out of the Orlando area. They were founded in 2012 and their job is to make sure you have a seamless Disney vacation. They have helped thousands of families doing this work so make sure you check them out at Tink's Magical MagicalVacations.com. We want to tell them thank you so, so much. Let's go have some fun. But it is a beautiful day, 75 degrees. and it took us all of maybe five minutes to get in here and we are in great almost yes got it House of Mouse, they are a wonderful family. We're heading over to the Rise of the Resistance. Now this ride usually has a really long line, but we're gonna see how we do. We actually got off a white van. That about 12 people drove over from Animal Kingdom to Hollywood Studios, came in a back way, and ended up right by Rock and Roller Coaster. Uh, they also gave us snacks and water to kind of get us settled throughout the tour. It's been so much fun so far, and it is an absolute dream being able to get on all of the incredible rides that everybody really loves. They usually have really, really long waits. Oh, it's a busy day. We're walking through the crowds. So far, it's been epic. We are heading on to Rise of the Resistance, and the line is 115 minutes. Uh, but we're walking right through with the tour guide.
incredible. Just got off the Rise of the Resistance, and this was Melissa from the House of Mel's very first time. Yeah. Melissa, what did you think about it? That was pretty awesome. So I love how it has the moving car and then you're going into all these rooms and you don't know what's going to happen and then there's like a little surprise at the end and that was really really fun i really enjoyed it it was so visually appealing too and i love that and if you're a star wars fan you would definitely love this <laughs> yummy thank you thank you So I ordered the Tenu Swirl cereal brunch. It looks like it has Nerds candies in it. And it also has the blue milk. I've never tried any of the milks. They actually have an option to add alcohol. I didn't do that this time, but it is really good. And those little crunchy Nerds add a really nice texture. Pop of sweetness. That is definitely a winner. Here at Galaxy's Edge in Hollywood Studios. So we just departed Rise of the Resistance, stopped for a little snack, drinks are, these drinks are not included, but like I said, we did get snacks earlier along with water, could have picked different beverages if we wanted, we all kind of went with water. We are heading from Rise of the Resistance, which was a 115 minute wait, on over to Slinky Dog, we didn't have any wait for Rise of the Resistance, maybe a total of 5 minutes to get on. We're heading over to Slinky Dog, that one is another one that usually has a crazy long line, but we're crossing fingers that it shouldn't be very long either. I don't think it will be. It should be pretty quick also. Slinky Dog is one of the funnest rides here at Hollywood Studios. Slinky Dog Dash is 115 minutes. There it goes. They look delicious! Cheers. Woo! Cheers! <laughs> Looking good! <laughs> awesome! Thank you so much! Yes. Right now we need a mm. So yummy. So, so yummy. And now we are at Epcot, heading into Guardians of the Galaxy. We did Tower of Terror, which was a 55 minute long wait. We were able to jump on super fast. If you walk in the park, you probably wouldn't be able to do it at all if you don't have a virtual queue. We just got off of the van again, walked into Magic Kingdom. We are heading over to do Tron. It's also virtual queue. This should be a lot of fun. We're not going to have to wait in line. We're also going to get a uh, ice cream option in just a minute. I'm going to try to get Tron in and maybe another one or two rides. And then the tour is almost over, guys. It's been so much fun. There she is, Tron. 
life cycle run. This is the very first time I'm gonna ride this ride. I can't believe it. It's the first time I've been wanting to ride it forever. I got a sandwich. Thank you so much, Justin. A Mickey sandwich. We just got off Tron. It was awesome. I had never been on Tron before. It was my first time. It is an insane ride. So much fun. It goes so fast at the very beginning. Really, um, I had heard a lot of people say that it's very short, but honestly, I didn't feel that at all because I guess I was so mesmerized with all the lights and the speed and the action. I thought it was a great ride. And we were met with some ice creams after. We are heading over to another ride. I think it is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. But so far, every single ride has been an absolute breeze. We are saying goodbye to the very last park of the day, Magic Kingdom. We came, we saw, we conquered, we did Tron, and we did Seven Dwarves Mine Train. We ate some snacks and we are heading out. Oh, how sweet.